Charlie Weig and Lee Burge made history at the Stadium of Light as Sunderland thrashed Doncaster Rovers to reignite their promotion challenge. Weig became the first man to score four goals in a game at the stadium, while Burge became the first goalkeeper to save two penalties in one game since the club moved home in 1997. Weig scored a first half hat trick with Aidan McKeady providing all three assists. Burge then scored an unfortunate own goal and the ball came back off the post and hitting him before crossing, but Weig added then added the fourth with McGeady again the architect. That made White the first Sunderland player to score four times in a game since Kevin Phillips did so in a 5-2 win at Barry in April 1999, and the first to do so on Wearside since Craig Russell did so in a 6-0 win against Millwall at Roker Park in December 19. Doncaster were then awarded a penalty with Burge saving from John Taylor, and in the closing minutes Burge made his second penalty stop when he denied substitute Jason Lakeel. The win lifted Sunderland up to sixth place and back into the playoff places. Charlie Wyke's Doncaster demolition in pictures, four-star show from Sunderland striker view gallery and they are now five points from the automatic promotion spots, with second-placed Hull City five points ahead of them, but the Black Cats have a game in hand. Lee Johnson responded to the midweek defeat at Shrewsbury by making six changes to his starting line. Birch returned in goal ahead of Ramey Matthews, who was at fault for the first goal on Tuesday night. Dion Sanderson replaced the injured Jordan Willis in central defense, and Callum Fazian returned from a groin injury to start instead of Jake Boca. Connor McLaughlin made his comeback after a month out following hernia surgery and he slotted in at right back, allowing Max Power to move into midfield with Grant Ledbetter making Luke O'Neill came into midfield with Jordan Jones missing out. And further forward Lyndon Gooch was preferred to Aidan O'Brien, who had scored Sunderland's opener at Doncaster boss Darren Moore made five changes, in his case to the side that lost at Fleet Joe Wright, Madger Gomez, Taylor, Taylor Richards, and Omar Bogle came into the side in place of Tom Anderson, Scott Robertson, Lakilo, John Bostick, and Fijerio Canabri. Sunderland blew Doncaster away in the first half. Wyke scoring three times in a little over half an hour and only a fine save from Ellery Balcombe prevented Gooch adding a fourth on the stroke of half. Wyke was there six yards out to head down and in from a McGeady corner on seven minutes. And five minutes later he added the second with McGeady again the provider. Wyke this time out jumping Cameron John on the edge of the six-yard box to nod in. Midway through the half Sunderland were close to adding a third when Wyke held the ball up on the edge of the box and laid it into the path of the oncoming Josh Scowen, with only a last-ditch challenge from Brad Halliday preventing him collecting and going one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Wyke completed his hat-trick on 31 minutes, heading in from close range after McGeady's fancy footwork had bamboozled Halliday and created the space for a cross. McGeady whistled a shot just wide soon after. And then on the stroke of halftime he created an excellent chance with a stunning through ball which released Gooch behind the defense. He got into the penalty area but Belcombe made a crucial save while Sunderland were dominant. Doncaster did create chances in the first period but their finishing was as bad as the Burge made a good save from Taylor early in the game, and another chance went begging when Bogle failed to control the ball inside the six-yard box and it bounced to a but their best opportunity came just before the half hour when ex-Sunderland man Reese James Cross found Taylor at the far post, he controlled but then scuffed it. Doncaster did pull a goal back eight minutes into the second half when a low-driven cross came to Richards, his shot hit the post but then hit the grounded Burge on the back and crossed the line. Sunderland responded within a minute, however, as Wyke headed his fourth goal of the afternoon from yet another McGeady cross to restore his side's three goal at Doncaster were then awarded a penalty when O'Neill was adjudged to have handled the ball inside the box as he Taylor put his penalty straight down the middle but Burge, diving to his left, made a brilliant save with his legs to divert the ball over the scow and clipped the bar with a looped cross as Sunderland continued to push forward. Doncaster's second penalty came two minutes from time when McFazian fouled. Lucky Lowe took it himself but it was a weak effort and Burge made the save. How they lined up Sunderland, Birch, McLaughlin, My Bitter 61, Sanderson, Wright, McFadzian, Scowen, Power, Onin, Diamond 76, Gooch, Onin 76, McGeady, Jones 82, Subs not used, Matthews, Neal, Bookings booked, Onin Doncaster Rovers, Balcombe, Halliday, Wright, Butler, John, Sims 55, Smith, Gomez, Bostick 46, Taylor, Lakilo 72, Richards, Robertson 72, James, Book, Subs not used, Jones, Okanabri, Greaves referee, Neil Hare, Huntingdonshire.